Welcome to the Dallas Diamonds Coaches Show. I'm Keisha Bradley, the online voice of the mighty Dallas Diamonds. This is our third episode airing on Ustream.tv on April 15th. Before you watch this episode, if you haven't done your taxes, make sure you do your taxes first and then come back to the episode. Once again, I'm joined by the wonderful coach of the Dallas Diamonds, Mr. Todd Hughes. Welcome, coach. Thank you, Keisha. It's good to be here. Well, tell me, it's always a pleasure, excuse me. Tell me, how did it feel to get that first IWFL victory? I felt great. You know, I think uh, the whole team was excited. The coaching staff was excited. Uh, we had a lot of positive things, and, of course, there's always things to work on, but uh, I think it was a good start. Exactly. It was definitely a, a fun game to watch. I'm also joined by veteran Alberta Fitchard Bryson, who plays the cornerback position for the Diamonds like a beast. You're definitely an exciting player to watch. I had an opportunity to play alongside of you. You were my girl. I miss playing with you. I asked Coach, now I'll ask you this, how does it feel to get that first IWFL victory? Oh, it feels great because, you know, stepping into this new league, we have a lot to, uh, to show for ourselves. You know, we have, a not, we have a lot to prove. It's like we're coming in as an underdog, so, you know, we just have to represent. We, I think we represented well on Saturday night. I couldn't agree with you more, Alberta. Later in the show, we're going to be joined by that storm and Mormon fullback, Rachel May. But for now, Coach Hughes, let's discuss the highlights from the last week's game. Talk to us a little bit about what the Diamonds did well on offense and on defense. Okay. Definitely try to do that. It's been the first time I've seen the tape, so. It's definitely, uh, it, it had its highlights. It had its moments. Um, anything you can. Just, I mean, the offense uh, stepped it up. They did a good job. Uh, secondary play was awesome. So we've got the highlights on now. Yeah. Offensive line did a good job the first time. We had a few mistakes as far as some penalties, but. Uh, the pass here. I think that was Kelly. You guys seem like this year when you came out, you had that fire, unlike last year when you played Houston. I don't know if it was that Texas heat, but you guys came out with that fire and that intensity on both sides of the ball, and it really showed when you got on the field. Yeah, we did. Um, like I said, right there, you just saw Rachel May running the ball, did a great job. She's running low, like we told her to do. And, you know, she's going to be hard to stop. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, Rachel May is an all purpose player. You can put her anywhere, and we'll talk to her a little later in the show. Um, I, your offense, I will talk about all the yardage they racked up, but were you impressed with this victory? I was, you know, like I said, again, we've got some things to work on, but I was, I was pleased overall our passing game. You know, we dropped a few things and overthrew some, a couple of passes, but overall we made some good catches and, and uh, they, they were blocking good, you know, working as a team. So, I mean, I think a combination with the offense and defense, we did a great job. What about the heart from Kansas City? Did they come out there and play their best? You know, oh, they're yeah. playing the Diamonds, but, you know, did they play their best? Right. I, I think they did. I mean, it's the first game of the season. I think there were some rookies on the field. First time they stepped foot on the football field. So, you know, I think that makes a difference, too. But just getting the rhythm, getting back into it. And, you know, you always look forward to that first game. We were all bored sitting around not watching football, so we're ready to go. Exactly. I mean, like I said, from up in the booth, uh, commentating the game online, it just seemed like the offense and defense was gelling. And there were a few kind of silly penalties, but they're going to pay for that, right, Coach? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We don't, we don't take the stupid penalties. That will definitely cost you in a big game, no doubt about it. He was Justin Springer returning a 47-yard punt return, picked the ball at the last second and took off. You know, I did a good job. Yeah, good we were blocking. all in the in the booth, and uh, we were like, uh, she's just going to leave it alone. Then she picks it up and runs it all the way back. But who else would do that but Jessica Springer? I guess that's why they call her Superman. I'm right. sorry, Superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's a sack from Jessica Springer on a sack. Again, I was really impressed with our secondary. I'm, we've got good depth, and there's an interception in Alberta, going to the end zone, taking it to the house. Yeah. Awesome um, job, awesome first time coming back. <laughs> Alberta, you know, it's great to have her back on, on the team. The secondary kind of suffered last year without her, and of course, Christia Rogers on the coaching staff, but she went out and uh, she made her mark again for the Diamonds and was very impressive. Well, she was truly missed while she was off. We just uh, missed her a lot. And one thing I noticed uh, watching the game, that it wouldn't, there weren't very many solo tackles. You see one Diamond and you see them all swarming in, four or five tackles. We've been really preaching that this year. You know, we, we a lot of arm tackling last year, and, and we're trying to uh, do it the right way and game tackle, and that's the way it should be. That's the way football should be. You should want a piece of her. Right. And uh, Jessica Springer, notable thing about her is she had receiving touchdown, uh, rushing touchdown, and then, of course, the kickoff return. So can you say she was everywhere? 